In this video, I'll be showing you how to make a Lord of the Flies inspired pig head on a stick that is perfect for bandit camps or cultist areas in D&D. This project began with the pig from this bag of farm animals that I got at Dollarama for crafting. In the bag there were various farm animals including chickens, cows, and a dog. I originally got it for a miniature of companion cow, but that's a story for another day. I removed the pig from the bag and examined the miniature that we'll be working with. I used my hobby knife to clean up the mold line along its back, but I should have spent more time and did all of them, including on the legs. I then noticed that this was a male pig, and the one from Lord of the Flies was a sow, so I used my plastic cutters to make that area flat. After that, I sliced the head off with my plastic cutters and attempted to cut open its belly area with my hobby knife. The plastic was too hard, so I drilled into it using my Fisker's hand drill and then cut where I thought the guts should be coming from. I also began to work on the bases where the two parts of the pig will sit. I gathered up some aquarium rocks, chunks of foam board, and a plastic plant. I glued the foam board and rocks together to create two separate pieces. In one of those pieces, I cut a toothpick down to size and glued it in between the raised parts along with adding some extra aquarium rocks. I took my drill again and drilled a hole on an angle into the pig's head so that it would sit on the spike properly. I also primed the pig with Skull White Primer so that I could paint over top of the cheap factory paint. I glued a small chunk of toothpick into the body to look like the spine, roughed up one side of the pig with my hobby knife to make it easy to glue on, and glued on the plant to one of the bases. After that, I coated each base with PVA glue and used some fine sand to give them a rough appearance. I used some small rocks to provide variation. Once those dried, I painted each with cheap acrylic black paint as an undercoat. I gave one of them a thick coat of dark grey and the other one was painted light brown. A couple of the rocks on each base were painted with some different colours, and then I began dry brushing. The rocky base got Dawnstone on it, and the sandy one received some Ushabti bone. After I finished that, I put a dab of hot glue on the toothpick and stabbed the pig's head on the stick. I made sure to secure it with some extra glue as well. To begin painting the pig, I used Bugman's Glow as a base coat. I did this in a decently thin layer on both parts of the pig. Dried bark was utilized to paint the pig's hooves, and just by doing this, it's already starting to look really good. I decided that the pig should have another spear in it, so I drilled a hole by the back leg and glued a toothpick in the hole. I also decided to glue the pig's body down to the sandy base in this step. I dry brushed Rakarth flesh onto the pig's head and body to give it the appearance of short fur rather than smooth plastic. The pig's nose was painted with Pink Horror, which is a fitting name for being added to this miniature. In many reference photos that I've seen, the sow had grey eyes. I painted them with Celestia Grey, and I think it was the perfect colour. A bead of hot glue was then layered over top of the cut that I made previously, to later become blood and guts. Now that the pig's skin is finished, I painted the spears with Steel Legion Drab. Now it's time to start painting the blood with Corn Red. I wasn't incredibly careful with my application of this, because randomly placed blood looks more natural. I did this step for both parts of the pig, including where the spear pierced the pig's side. On the guts, I layered on some Emperor's Children and added some more red over top of that. I painted up the spine with Ushabti Bone and waited until it dried to begin the fun part of this project. I gave the pig a heavy wash with Reichlan Flesh Shade, Then I gave the base a wash with Agrax Earthshade. I believe that I put some Agrax Earthshade onto the pig as well to make it look very dirty. The last major step was to use this gloss gel medium to make all the gore very shiny. It goes on white but dries clear and becomes reflective. May I present to you the Lord of the Flies. Thank you everyone so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please do give me a like and a sub because it really helps me out. And I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye!